It's time to yell about Splatoon 3. My brain is basically a puddle after watching that direct. <laughs> there was so much good that we got out of it, ranging from the confirmation of tons of returning weapons to a massive selection of specials in Splatoon 3. This is slowly shaping up to be a massive game and <laughs> I'm all for it. Nintendo wasn't afraid to show off a lot of new sub and special combinations in this direct either. We also got confirmation of both the torpedo and my precious baby Autobot bomb coming back in the game, so I'm as happy as can be. Apartments? <sighs> Apartments may be gone, but the customization is still there, baby. Apartments were my big prediction gamble, and while I may not have one, I still had fun. And I can still bet on them being in Splatoon 4. <laughs> Look at those lockers. Like a friend said on Twitter, they're not apartments, they're compartments. And gosh, I'll take it. There's still a lot of customization potential in there, and it's fun. Nothing stops me from going around the Splatlands and taking a photo with every jellyfish that I see and shoving them all in my locker. Specifically the photos, not the jellyfish. I, I would never do that to an actual jellyfish in this game. Nothing stops me or from just filling up the locker with hats. Well, besides my hat, since it isn't in the game yet. But, but if, um, um, if any of you if any see it, you tell me. I'd be, I'd be very happy camper. I got something else I wanted anyway, honestly. We can hang out with our friends prior to the beginning of a match in the testing range now. And that's so cute. Imagine purposefully not readying up just to have your own personal small squid party before the match begins. I love that. Adding this kind of system also will help to make sure there's less downtime between matches, meaning you'll get to play the game more. Encouraging players to be more constantly in the testing range in between matches will also lead players to get better at aiming without realizing it. Every day, you spend a couple of minutes firing at the test dummies, practicing your shots, and slowly but surely, your aim just might get better. No need to take out yourself from the action just to practice anymore. But you know what you still have to take yourself out of the action for? Good old recon mode. <laughs> but now that it's an hour long, it's kind of like really awesome, at least for me. You don't know how many times I'd be recording footage for a song or a video just to get kicked out of the match before I was done. And the thing about recon mode is that your ink color changes every time you hop in. So I'd have to hop out and hop in and hop out and hop in to try and get my color back again. Problem solved, make it an hour long, bang. Of all the customization features that I've glossed over in the past in various videos, one thing I was surprised that we didn't see was a way to view plaza posts on the go. With increased functionality from the new sea cucumber phones, this would be a great opportunity to see the plaza posts without having to go on a walk. I'm sure many players are rejoicing over skipping the lose, but I'm watching it every single time. <laughs> I know, you can skip it now. You can even read it just with the phone. But I want to look at the news. I like it. I, I, I like the consistency. Speaking of, can I just say that the main area is, is beautiful? I it's actually so nice. And that's not even talking about the massive glow up, literally, I'm sorry, that it gets when you're in the middle of a splat fest. And thinking of the splat fests makes you think of the new idols, and thinking of the new idols makes you think of Big Man. My, my goodness, just, <laughs> just look at this guy. He's actually one of the best NPCs to grace a video game ever, and he's literally just a, a giant ray. Look at him holding the TV. How can this not be one of the NPCs ever? We're, we're denouncing Stingray right now. I, I love Stingray. It's my favorite special. I know it's gross in Splatoon 2, but sorry, we gotta move on to this ray. It's just how it's gotta be. And honestly, we haven't seen hide or hair or trigger of Stingray. Or speaking of that, uh, no camp trigger fish for that matter. <laughs> Stay away. All we gotta do is survive two years of updates without it showing up. And this will be a trigger fish free game. Come on, Nintendo. Yes. While we haven't seen Triggerfish, we also haven't seen too much about my machine. Hello? We did see that the crab is on the Splash-O-Matic, which makes me happy. And we do know that the crab is not on the first machine. The first machine actually has Inkjet, sad face. But we don't know what sub it has yet, so it's still gonna be like Burst Bomb or something. Wink, wink, wink. The Splatoon Direct is just so much. I'm happy, and I hope you are too.
We have an awesome future ahead of us, and I hope that you're already planning to have a lot of fun with this game. Convince your pals to give it a try with the test fire. If you're watching this video before the test fire happens, we can try to get more people in this Splatoon 3. The promise already of two years of content is so reassuring to me. It shows that Nintendo already plans to give this game a lot of love. My hope is just that if the game does well, they'll, uh, they'll just keep on going. We got that for Splatoon 2, although in the end you could argue it might have been because of the pandemic, we'll really never know. Regardless, life is good. Please tell me the most important thing for you in the Direct. I wanna know. Was it the tricolor turf war? Was it the insane looking cutscene for hero mode? Because, hello? What, what was that? <laughs> Maybe you were happy to see Peru go in the shop? Because, hey, ch Chirpy Chips rep, let's go! No matter what, we all got something today. And I can't wait to make more content for Splatoon 3. <laughs> oh, let's go. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.